just a kid, a little red-haired pug-nosed kid. And though he was his mother's pride and joy, he was worse than Peck's bad boy. I lived right next door, beside the village grocery store, and we went to school together in those days of yore. Freckles was his name, he always used to get the blame for every broken window pane. Oh, how they'd yank him, then spank him. He would tease the girls when in school he'd pull their curls. And though his marks were lower than kids much lower, his mark was perfect with the old green blower. People used to coax young freckles not to play his joke. The way he pulled the village folk, it was a shame. And when the teacher found a tack on her chair, though a hundred children were there, everybody said freckles, he always got the blame. In a marble game, He'd never miss his aim. Spinning tops that kid was sure to win. His top had the longest spin. At the swimming place, you'd always see his grinning face. And down at the old church picnic, he'd win every race. Freckles was his name. He always used to get the blame. For every broken window pane, oh, how they'd fan him, then tan him. He would tease the girls when in school he'd pull their curls. He wasn't much on study, but quite old buddy. The other fellow's nose was always bloody. People used to coax young freckles not to play his joke. The way he pulled the village folk. It was a shame, and when a dog had tin can tied to his tail, it was never known to fail. Everybody said freckles, he always got the blame.